All right here, today I'm going to give y'all my NFL Week 14 predictions. I'm going to start off with Thursday night's game and work my way up to Monday night's game. But let's get started. Brian Priest and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Before I get into this weekend's games, I'm going to give out a couple shout outs, if you will. Starting off with the team in a week from week 13, it is going to have to be the Cleveland Browns. They traveled to Nashville to play the Tennessee Titans, and no one, including myself, expected them to play the way they did. They came out clicking on all cylinders, was up 38-7. 38-7, but the Titans managed to come back and lose by a touchdown. But the Browns are my team in a week. But next, get the player of the week. Uh, this one right here, I had to think about it here. You had players such as Breaker Mayfield, Matthew Stafford, and Darren Waller. And eventually, I just looked at Darren Waller's stats. Uh, he is a tight end at 13 receptions for 200 yards. 13 receptions for 200 yards. That's unheard of. And he also had two touchdowns. So I had to give it to the Las Vegas tight end. Uh, he did really well today, and he is my player of the week. But now let's get into the games. Starting off December 10th at 8.20 p.m., you can also refer this to Thursday Night Football, you have the New England Patriots traveling out west to play the Los Angeles Rams. I think this game right here will be close early on due to the fact you got the Patriots defense, and they're pretty solid. And the Rams got the turnover machine as their starting quarterback, uh, Jared Goff. And uh, I think this one's going to keep it close early on, but I think the Rams will win this game, though. Now you fast forward to Sunday, December 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. You got the Houston Texans taking on the Chicago Bears in Soldier Field. I expect this game to be tight, but I think the Houston Texans will win this game. Next, you got the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. This game right here, I think, is going to be low scoring, and it's going to come down to who, which offense can make the best play. And I think it's going to be the Cowboys. Andy Dalton is a Cowboys starting quarterback, and uh, he used to play for the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, he got released. There's a lot of bad blood there. So he's going to want to show it, and I think he will, and they will win this game. Next, you got the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Miami Dolphins. I think this game right here, a lot of people are going to expect a close game, but I really don't see that happening. Uh, the Dolphins, they've been playing sloppy football recently. This past week against the Bengals, they sucked. Week before they played the Jets, they sucked. They both won, they won both of those games, but they kept it tight. So that worries me. I think Kansas City will win this game by at least two, three possessions. It's not going to be close. But next, you get the Arizona Cardinals taking on the red hot, I mean red hot New York Giants. They are five and two in their last seven games. That's unheard of for a team. In the East, winning five games out of seven, like, that's just crazy. They, the NFC East is terrible. And uh, I think they keep that going. I think they make it six for eight. I think they're going to beat the Cardinals at home. Next, you got the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This game is big. I consider this making this the game of the week, uh, but I didn't because the Sunday night's game, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Minnesota wins this game. They become the number six seed. If they lose it, they become the number seven seed or possibly out of the playoffs. While Tampa wins, they can keep the six seed and they got a little cushion between the seven seed, but they can also get one step closer to the number five seed. And that five seed is big because whoever finishes fifth is going to play an NFC East team. And the NFC East teams are terrible. So it's going to be a good game, but I think Minnesota wins this game on the road. But next, you got the Denver Broncos taking on the Carolina Panthers. Denver's terrible. Carolina is a better football team, so I'm going to give it to the Panthers at home. Next, you got the Tennessee Titans playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Both of these teams are coming off heartbreaking losses. Titans lost to the Browns, and they, came, they had a pretty good comeback, uh, but they fell short loss by a touchdown. One of the Jaguars pushed the Vikings into overtime, where... They ultimately lost due to a Dan Bailey 23-yard field goal. I think this game right here is going to be a lot closer than the experts think. Uh, so, I think Tennessee wins on the road, but 
Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a lot closer than a lot of people think. But now you fast forward it to 4.05 p.m. You got two really good games here. You got the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. The Colts are up and down. Uh, and the Raiders, they're playing sloppy football. Barely beat the Jets a week ago. Got hammered by the Falcons and then got beat by the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. I'm questioning this team. But you know what? I think they lose this one at home. I think Indianapolis wins. But next, you got the New York Jets traveling out west to play the Seattle Seahawks. I think this game right here is going to be good. Sam Darnold has been playing well this past couple of weeks, and uh, I expect a good game out of him. And Seattle, been worrying me. They got beat by New York, so anything can happen. The Giants, uh, you never know. Both New York teams might beat the uh, Seattle Seahawks this year on the road. Who knows? It's 2020. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think Seattle wins this game at home. Uh, touchdown. Now you fast forward it to 20 minutes later at 4.25 p.m. You got the Green Bay Packers taking on their divisional rivals, the Detroit Lions. Detroit, they really can't afford to lose this game if they do. Right out of playoff contention, but they're playing the Packers. The Packers are a way better team, offense, defense, and special teams. So I'd say the Packers win this one by at least four possessions. Uh, next, you got the New Orleans Saints taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Taysom Hill versus, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Jalen Hurts. That's going to be a really, really good matchup. Two mobile quarterbacks versus two talented defenses. It's going to be good. But I'm going to give this to Taysom Hill and the New Orleans Saints. Uh, this can very possibly be Taysom Hill's final start uh, of the season, I guess you can say, because Drew Brees is expected to come off of IR heading into Week 15. So who knows there, but I think the Saints win this one. Next, you get the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. I think this game is going to be really, really good. Two somewhat decent offenses versus two mediocre defenses. But I think the Chargers will come out on top. Next, you get the Washington football team taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Washington is in a must-win situation. I am filming this Sunday night during the Chiefs and Broncos game. I have no clue what's going to happen Monday against the Steelers. I'm assuming they're going to lose. And if they do, they're going to have to win out. They're going to want to win their division because they lost to the Giants twice. And the Giants are the leaders in that division. So they get the head-to-head, -head, uh, yeah, tiebreaker. So uh, Washington's going to need a lot of help, and they're going to have to win out. And I think they will beat the 49ers, and time will tell what will happen after that. But now you fast forward to Sunday Night Football, my game of the week. You got the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to Buffalo to play the Bills. Josh Allen versus Ben Roethlisberger is going to be good. But I am going to give it to Josh Allen and Buffalo Bills. So just a bit. I think they're a little better at home than they are on the road. And Pittsburgh's a little better at home than on the road. So Pittsburgh on the road going to Buffalo Kind of worries me. Uh, they played against Baltimore the week, like on week 13, I think it was, and played sloppy there. And uh, a lot of question marks surrounding the Pittsburgh organization. I think Buffalo wins this game. But now you fast forward to Monday Night Football. You got Lamar Jackson and company taking on the Cleveland Browns. And uh, this is a big game for Baltimore. If they're wanting to keep their playoff hopes alive, they're going to have to win this game. If they don't, things are going to get tight on that borderline because you you got Indianapolis right there. You got Las Vegas right there. Miami. It's going to get tight. Baltimore wins this one. But if they lose it, all bets are off. And I think the Browns will win this game at home. You got to remember, earlier this year, the Ravens ran up the score against the Browns. The Browns might redo the favor in this game. Who knows? But those are all of my NFL Week 14 predictions. Everybody, though, comment down below if you agree or disagree with any of my predictions. I'm curious to know. Peace.